Wendy, every morning. Thank you. All right, this is very popular here in the Bronx. This is like a pastry filled with eggs, cheese, chicken, beef, whatever. We Puerto Ricans, we call it empanadillas, and Dominicans call it patelitos, you know? So it's two different names. Half of Puerto Rico, I think in the South, they call it empanada, empanadillas, and in the North, they call it pastelillos, but very good. Mm. Mm. With an egg. Oh, my God. Good morning, everybody. This video is sponsored by Printavo. Printavo is a simple screen printing management software. Printavo will help you manage orders, handling schedules, automation, and online stores. Regardless if you are a small or a big print shop, Printavo will help you streamline your business. Right now, if you go to printavo.com and use the promo code TAINO, you'll get 50% off your first month. So that's a pretty good deal, the first month. 50% off just to try it out. Try it out because it's going to help you, especially with the coding, have everything organized, ready for right now, like the taxes are coming. So go to printavo.com and use the promo code Taino. And I want to thank Printavo for sponsoring today's video. Now back to me. Mm. Good day to you and how you be, everybody. This is John Taino from tainoin.com. I appreciate you guys for printing with me. And I want to thank all of you for tuning in to Taino Inc. Today is April 26, 2023. Wow, time is flying, man. All right. Um, I have uh, this shirt. I have this shirt I have to print. That's why I set up the screens for it. This is a polyester shirt. And the color is like a lime green and white. He don't want the lime green. He wants another color that will um, go with these two colors. I was thinking of gray, but if you guys have a better color, um, comment down below and give me colors. And the one that gives me the, the majority of those colors, maybe you guys have a better, you know, matching the color idea than me, but comment down below and tell me what color should I print? I gotta print this tomorrow, so please comment right now and tell me what color should I do. I'm thinking of gray or blue, but I know there's better colors out there that this will go with, so that's a good one, man, okay? So I wanna talk about my previous video. My previous video of the design, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I was talking about this um, company I'm partner up with, a Graphics Flow. Go to graphicsflow.com and you'll see what it is, but go see my video, and I'm gonna, my video is explain, explaining how to create designs without needing a designer. It's templates already done. You can switch the font, the color, the name, the year, all that. Go check it out. And those some um, information I gave that was not correct, you know? So the promo code is Taino. We fixed it because it was something else. And I know some people went to it and they kept commenting and sending me messages saying that the promo code is not working. But now it's fixed. The promo code is um, capital letters Taino, T-A-I-N-O, Taino. That's the promo code to get 50% off for two years. Not one, two years. That's a great deal. Okay, let's get into the show. So first and foremost, I want to read some of the comments. And I appreciate everyone that supports the platform. So I want to right now give a big shout out to the print chasers that comment on the video. Let's read comment number one. It's from Jeff Hartman. I recently discovered your channel. Thank you. I am an old teacher who is looking to learn the screen printing process. I mentioned it to my boss as something we could do in the marketing classes I teach. Instead of teaching the kids about business and marketing, why not just do it? I have always wanted to get into it. The equipment won't be here until July. Awesome, congratulations, man. That is the best thing to do. Hands on, teach and hands on. You could teach and then you could teach about business while you giving hands on. 
also in heart, Jeff Hartman. Thank you. And what a beautiful family I see here with your profile picture. That's awesome. The next um, comment is from Mohammed Ibrahim. Ibrahim, okay. Um, he said, whenever I need a help regarding screen printing, I always check your channel first. You are just like a dad teaching his kids how to do it from scratch. <laughs> That's a good one, I like that one. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mohammed. Okay, and now the third one is by Yeti Biker. What size is your sleeve palette? I'm also looking to make one. Love the videos, man. All right, um, if you're gonna be making your own palettes, you cut them up, make sure you could do two pallets, one three inches wide, the other one at least five inches wide. Your biggest you're gonna do is four inches, so make sure that it's five inches. The length depends on what you wanna do. You take a sleeve, make as long if you wanna make it longer or shorter, but the most important thing is the width because you wanna make sure that it fits. You're over a little over six inches, you're gonna have some issues with long sleeve shirts, man. So create your palette, do two, one three and one about five, you know, or two and a half and then five. But that's the, that's the size of palettes when I was um, cutting my own boards when I used to have the Riley Hopkins before, all right? So right now, Thank you for the comments, I appreciate that. I wanna talk about, somebody sent me a video and for I could try to make a video and what do I think about it. And I saw it and I decided to make a video because we gotta watch our backs. So this video is what happened to Walmart. What happened to Walmart was somebody saw a design, a t-shirt design in Walmart that it caused a controversy and they pulled out the shirts out of there. This was a based in Canada only, all the Walmarts in Canada. So they pulled it out because of vulgar print something that was there that was not, and somebody saw that and went after Walmart. They probably gonna even get sued. So the thing is that that person that creates those design and was sending it to Walmart, I kept researching, I think he lost um, that contract. He cannot bring no more. We don't know how many other designs he had in Walmart. We don't know how many years he's been in Walmart living off doing designs and selling it. For him to lose it, now if it was done intentionally, then hey, that's what you get. But let's say he wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't done until he didn't even know. And I'm gonna show you the video of it. And after the video, we'll see. Um, I think it was not done intentionally because you could just read and then pick anything up and then call it like that was intentionally. Look, look, he put those words there for that. And please, once I show this video, do not comment on the word on the description because then, you know, YouTube algorithm might come and give me a strike or, you know, demonetize the video. Don't comment. We already know what it, what it says and all that. Just comment of you know the things that you you should be looking out for if anything but this is a game changer for us screen printers that are doing our own design and we're selling it to um stores to like walmart target and if this happens not only you could get, you're gonna get banned but you also probably could get sued and that could just destroy your whole um time that you've been a screen printer all that money could just come down like real quick in an instant. So let's check this video out. When you walk into Walmart, you expect to see aisles of neatly stacked goods and smiling employees ready to help you find what you're looking for. What you don't expect is to find something lurking in the clothes section, but that's exactly what happened when one shopper spotted something shocking hidden in a graphic tee. Walmart wasted no time in jumping to remove it from their shelves, but you never know what else could be lurking on the shelves at Walmart. It's clear that even the largest retailers can't always predict what surprises their products might hold. Yeah, so that's what happened. They say they were surprised, they didn't even know, too. The, um, that um, customer pointed it out, okay? So here, let me just go a little forward here. A Walmart shopper recently went viral after they noticed an insult hidden in an innocent green tee with re printed on it. After the customer posted it to Twitter, it caused panic and shock among shoppers. In response, Walmart. Um, I got a quick question. Is that like a doll, like a mannequin? It looks like a mannequin. It don't look real to me. I don't know. 
I don't know about that. That would be kind of scary if I go to Walmart and see something like that. Walmart removed the t-shirt from the stores, but not before some enterprising customers managed to get their hands on one of these rare finds. Controversy often follows a hidden message, especially when it's printed on a shirt available for purchase at Walmart this past April 3rd. Who is your daddy now? made a post on Twitter that quickly went viral after people began to notice the unintentional. That's the design right there. I will, I will say personally, when I saw this on Twitter that I was reading, I did not know. I, I, it took me a while to, to look for that hidden message, you know, because I didn't know there was a hidden message. It was, I was just looking at the whole design. You know, for me to say what's wrong, there's nothing wrong with it. It's recycle, reuse, renew, rethink. It's, I don't see nothing wrong with it. But some people came and looked and saw something else and then pointed it out. Additional initialism featured prominently on one Walmart t-shirt. The green graphic T appeared to promote recycling with reprinted in large letters, but social media users soon realized that when read from- Yeah, so, as you see that is, you see the letters coming down from the small words, just the first two letters, uh, the first letters coming down, the four, and you're gonna get that, see you next um, Thursday, you know? And real quick, they say that image was for that, you know? From top to bottom, there was another terrible message concealed within the front side of the shirt. Right, I don't wanna even, show that because i don't want you to to even come at me but you saw that you saw a little clip it was not intentional when the t-shirt's been removed they said for context the item was only available in canada and it seems as though most of those who attempted or succeeded in obtaining one of these shirts were canadian residents as well as twitter users who stumbled upon who's your now who's your daddy now's picture of the t-shirt and reacted with shock Far from being dismayed by their find, many social media users who saw the tweet responded with news enthusiasm, if not outright admiration for those lucky enough to find themselves an unintentionally hilarious graphic tee and those smart enough to recognize what it actually meant once done. Another simply reacted with stunned disbelief at seeing something so ridiculous being sold under such a large company's logo. Unbelievable. Some commenters took longer than others to spot what had been written across this tell this T showing just how hard it is sometimes to catch something like this, even when you know it's there, much less when you don't expect anything untoward could possibly exist underneath all those bold letters spelling out re. Cause I don't know. I, I cannot say that he did it intentionally, you know, like you just saw it and then real quick, you want to make that the issue. Um, it's, it's very questionable. The George brand owned by major retailer Walmart stocks clothing, clothing items in both ASDA supermarkets across the UK, Canada, Walmarts, meaning that numerous people might have seen or purchased this awful tea without ever realizing what had been printed underneath until now, making for quite an embarrassing situation for both brands involved and throwing in a sharp focus how important double checking your designs can be, whether you're creating something yourself or- Yeah, so- yeah, embarrassing, yeah, because now people point it out. But at the beginning, when you bought this shirt, you just love the message. The message, that's what you got the shirt for, because you like the message. Here in New York, with the hustlers that we got here in New York, man, I guarantee that they saw this, they got the shirts printed, and they printing it in the streets, knowing that a lot of people seen this news, and they're going to buy it. They're gonna, I guarantee they make a killer, whoever was putting it out there in the streets, especially here in New York. Proving mass produced items for sale at retail stores like these establishments. Though the, we may never know exactly how this unfortunate series of events began or why someone thought printing anything more than just those four simple words beside re was necessary, we could still enjoy. No, they didn't have to know, they didn't. You, your mind is not reading that. You could just say that re and not really think. Yeah, if, you, if your intention was to put that word there, yeah, great, great idea. But you just probably did it without even having the acknowledgement that they're gonna come and take these four letters 
and say that was a hidden message you intentionally wanted to put out there. Enjoy the collective reactions shared over social media right here, including such gems as, wow, someone that prints clothing for a living, I'm amazed this made it to the shop. If you see in the bottom of the Twitter, the um, flex um, before tasks, when she posted that image, it got almost 3.6 million views. Because she went real quick and said, find the hidden message. And everybody was looking. Everybody was looking. And when I was reading the comments, not everybody was getting it. People were just told, like, I don't see it. I don't get it. But then when somebody um, um, commented and put the word there, forget it. It just blew up to 300, a picture on Twitter getting 300.5 or 6 million views. Wow, man. Top floor. They had to know, surely. And another one, <laughs> someone is getting fired. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But it goes without saying that these mistakes could be avoided wherever possible, particularly when printing something mass produced onto multiple garments, which then go up for sale in multiple retail locations across whole countries. Despite our collective pleasure taken from noticing such unexpected twists of fate, however, we must remember that our responsibility as retailers and designers alike always remain vigilant against crossing any lines between laughably ironic and legitimately offensive. Yeah, so my final thought is that, that for us for screen printers now, we have to be careful of what are we creating, a design that we create, especially when it has to do with words and the way the pattern of the words are. They're gonna do some crossword puzzle on you you know it could go sideways they could say anything now we have to be like you said vigilant on that to look for that that's that's crazy for us to do because you have so many people out there now looking for that now they'll see a shirt with words they're gonna see if that's a hidden message and that makes us screen printers oh man a little little on our feet and checking and all that and making sure how many times I have printed words in the back states and I and I and I did the whole check I, I read it like three five times and then comes the um, person and say look you misspelled a word it happens so just imagine us trying to look and now play crossword puzzle with our image that is crazy man so oh you all on um, screen printers out there especially you print chasers be careful on your design when it has words because you don't want this to happen to you if you already develop a contract with a company and you're making good money and just that little mistake could ruin you man so if you like this video press that like button if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe be thankful always be grateful always and just let god take you on the right. Peace out.